care I was worth $150 million. I said, that's an insult. $150 million, that's an insult. I'm worth. Stop, 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 stop. See what the bad is there. So $150 million, when in a country where people are living on $2 per day, you are saying it's an insult. What are you doing to those people who cannot feed themselves three square meals? What are you doing for those people who are in your church cannot do three square meals? Who are in your church cannot send their children to school? Who are in your church who cannot get a house for themselves? You are more particular about the fact that they assess you too small. They insulted you by saying you are worth just one fifty million dollars. How does God? Let's go to the Bible. To the Bible. To the. Yeah, I want you to see this Bible uh, scripture. You will see how God describes people. These pastors. These Nigerian pastors. You should remember this passage forever. Remember it. Jude one twelve to thirteen. The Bible says these people, these pastors like this, these pastors who are taking from the poor and getting richer. These pastors who are feasting on the poor and the underprivileged. The Bible says, these people are spots in your love feast. The love feast of salvation that God has given to us. The table that God has laid before us. The love feast, the, the story of love, the, the, the salvation when Jesus gave of himself. When he came down from heaven to give his life. They are spots. They are the sound. It's like saying they are the sound in your eyes. They are the sound in your soup. These people are the sound in your soup. They are the sound in your eyes. They are the ones spoiling your life. These are the spots in your love feast. Why they feast with you without fear, serving only themselves. They feast with you without fear. What do that mean? That is their church services, Sunday services. They organize Sunday celebration services, Sunday services, everyday service. They feast. They do feast. Ce no, celebration, anniversary, all kind of feasts they organize. They say they are feasting with you and they do that with impunity, without fear that you will discover what is happening, without fear that you will catch them, without fear that God will catch them. They don't have any fear. They are organizing this feast without fear, saying that they are feasting with you. They say, oh, it is our church. You do know somebody was telling me, oh, our church just got a new private jet. Oh, we just, that is what they say. They are saying they are feasting with you. So I asked him the question, when was the last time you were in the last private, uh, private jet? Or oh, are you going to, what is the plate number of this one that they just bought? They are saying they are feasting with you, but serving only themselves.